morning everyone so today I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little triad riff trick on uh, Bad Moon Rising so um, we're gonna go ahead and learn the shape first we're gonna do the first one we're gonna do is in G our root is on our high E string so let's hop right to it you're gonna hold your first finger is gonna bar these three strings G B and high E okay now your first finger note on the G string isn't really playing a note in your chord but you're going to keep it there so you can do the hammer on to the chord tone. So now to get the rest of our chord shape under our fingers, you're going to put your second finger right next to your first on the G string. Yeah, so there we've got our G major triad. So there's all sorts of things you can do with that, just that chord shape and the hammer-on ability. So if you lift up your second finger, play that first finger note first, and hammer on. That's our basic mechanic right there. Um, and then from there, and to get that fast, you're going to want to down pick first, then up pick the next note. So that's our, that's our shape. Now, we've got three chords in this song. we got D, A, and G, because we're doing this over Bad Moon Rising, that's what we've been working on the last few days. Uh, so that's our G chord. If G is there, A is going to be up a whole step. So fifth fret area with our first finger. And then let's find our D chord. we got G, A, B, C, D, 10th fret. So our D triad is all the way up there. Now, when you're playing along with this at first, if you don't want to make that big jump from D, to A. Uh, you're welcome to use use our just our basic D chord as well. I kind of like to jump between both of them, honestly. And this is a really nice technique just to add add a different sound to your group. So especially like if you're playing in a group and you've got more than one chording instrument happening, um, you might go ahead and when you're just kind of grooving along and the song's happening, you might just kind of throw those triads in. Just to add a new texture, a new sound to the song, keeping it interesting. Um, the other place that I use it a lot of times is during a solo, so I'll just be soloing along. And then kind of switch back into single notes. So um, there's all sorts of ways you can use this technique and have a lot of fun with it. It's a very fun technique. So let's go ahead and just practice that, uh, just your triad technique really quick. And uh, yeah, then we'll take a brief pause. starting to get it under your fingers just a little bit. Um, so go ahead and go back to your D triad up here on our 10th fret area. So what's cool about this, um, when you start to kind of notice something here, think about your scale shapes. Ah, yes. So this triad actually sits right in the scale shape of our major blues scale. Those are our three notes right there in our triad sit right in that scale shape. So one cool thing you can do when you're playing your D triad up here is you can add those notes in. So we've got uh, the other thing you can do is add that lower note. That's in our blues scale too. So I'm going to give you open chords now. What I'd like you to try to do is, if you're content just playing chords along, just working on your triads, that's fine. If you want to work on 
soloing and just soloing without the triads, that's fine too. Um, if you want to try to combine solo with triads, which is which is kind of a little bit more of my approach, uh, you can feel free to do that. So I'll just kind of give you a verse, a chorus, and maybe a little bit more of a verse after that. Just have fun with it and uh, work on whatever you're working on. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so I ended up giving you three choruses at the end with tag. Um, it just felt too short with just one verse and a chorus. So, hope you all enjoyed this lesson today and maybe learned a little something new. If there's something you'd like to see on these daily guitar lessons, feel free to post it in the comments below. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.